Right, hello guys and welcome to the stream. First I want to start off by saying a massive thanks to McLovin Space, link in the description for his YouTube channel for providing us with this key, a Steam key, to give away, which is for Simple Rockets 2. Um on the PC, yeah. So if you want to enter that giveaway, leave a comment down below and join the Discord so I can contact you if you're the winner. Right, guys. I can't give out my real name because that's silly. <laughs> right, so what we're doing in this video, um because McLove and Space give us the the free key to give away, I'm gonna I've sort of made a craft inspired by his last stream where it was a one launch space station. So that's what we're going to be doing today and I'm just going to double check the staging because it looks like it's messed up somehow. Tomorrow you launch. Yes as well tomorrow get on the discord upload your favorite crafts that you want us to fly and tomorrow's stream I will try and fly as many crafts from discord as I can. So get doing that and that'll happen. So if you want us to fly your craft then that has to be done. Alright, that's That's what was wrong there. Right, okay, I've got that now. Yep, that's fine. Everything's fine there. Right, so the craft actually looks like loss, but it's not, it's low um Drew Dres Drew 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 Space Station. How do you download the rocket? Um, which rocket? This rocket? It hasn't been uploaded yet. Yeah, all the crafts are in the description below if you want to check out all the crafts from the videos and streams and everything. That is in the description below. Let's get this thing launched and just double check everything is going swimmingly. Should be. Remember, I'd some some reason I get a lag spike when at some point during the um, ascent. So I do apologise in advance for that. It's not the computer; it's OBS. I still don't know how to fix it. Right. Anyway, let's get launching. Yes, it is a slow burner at the start because it's a very heavy craft. What's the craft mass? Um, one, nearly two million, kind of thing. Three, two, one. That was actually a well timed uh, countdown there. I have to admit, that was a well timed countdown. Well done on that. <laughs> Considering there's a delay as well, you timed that really well. Right, so I think for some reason my mouse went all weird. Oh, I forgot to add cameras, didn't I? Never mind, we've got these nice cinematic cameras. Yeah, it's a very slow craft at the start. <laughs> very slow. Right, I'm going to speed this up a little bit actually. And we'll just help us get up there faster. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe and leave a like. So close to 600 now and then it means we're even less close to uh, 1000. So that didn't make any sense in English whatsoever. But yeah, everyone knows what I mean there. <laughs> but not far off 1000, not at all. I think it's possible before Christmas definitely possible before Christmas it's too heavy it is heavy but we've got the power to lift it so should be fine we've got plenty of fuel I mean this could probably go to the moon but I want to keep it because I don't really have a proper space station here yet Ooh, I, I dipped that a little bit too low so hopefully I might have fixed the lag spike it's just OBS being weird for some reason when I when I'm leaving the atmosphere. Right, 
here we go. Right, there we go. We'll go back into normal speed and we will drop that and fire this engine. There we go, there's that one gone. Let's go for a nice flyby here. That was fast. <laughs> Just keep burning and I think, should we get rid of this fairing? Uh, let's just get rid of it now, yeah. There we go, there's the big, the big station. Big-ish station. Right, we're just gonna cancel that engine now at the minute. Because we're far enough away that one, just plan a manoeuvre here. That'll be easier. So I can do it automatic. And that'll do, we'll lock that in. We'll just change the orbit once we're there. Did you ever land back at the launch pad with the SpaceX rocket? I can't remember, because it was that long ago that I've done the SpaceX missions. I can't remember how well I did on that front. So yeah, you'll have to look back on them videos. <laughs> So I can't remember. I think I got close once. I know if you look at me Virgin Galactic um, video, I landed back on that with the um, with the shuttle thing. I landed on the runway, which was pretty cool. I'm going to lock that in and warp to that one. So yeah, big thanks to McLovin Space again for providing the steam key to give away today, which was amazing of him. And soon, hopefully, we're going to be, I think we're going to be setting up a collaborate video. So keep an eye out on that. And we don't know how it's going to work yet, but it is going to work. It is going to happen. So that is going to be fun and interesting. I think I'm going to put it up about 300 here. Oops, nope, I don't want it. Another manoeuvre. 301, 4, 317, that, that is perfect. That will do fine. How much mono? I want to take off. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. I just messed up. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh no. I can't believe I did that. Okay, we're going to have to restart that. Because I can't do without the solar panels. Jesus. Which is better? Um, you can't really compare the two at the minute because Simple Rockets 2 is still really early compared to KSP. I'm really looking forward to Kerbal Space Program 2. That I'm really looking forward to. I like Simple Rockets too because you can pretty much build anything you want with the parts that they've got. But uh, Kerbal Space Program, definitely for like space stations and stuff, and docking is a lot, is a lot better. But I would say they're both equal, pretty much. Pretty equal. PSP is just not as popular as it used to be, for some reason. Minecraft, on the other hand, is one of the most popular games around 
again. I think it's just took over Fortnite, which is pretty amazing. So maybe I should jump on the bandwagon of Minecraft and start making Minecraft videos. <laughs> that might get us to a thousand. Yeah, I will be doing a docking tutorial at some point. Um, it's just docking is so messed up in this game at the moment. Uh, really drives us insane. I don't know why it's so bad. Everything just has to be aligned absolutely perfectly and the RCS thrusters are just not great. Do you some Minecraft chat in the Discord? I can't remember seeing any more chat in the Discord to be honest. Um, What mine version of Minecraft to download? Just download the latest version. It'll download it automatically, won't it? And let's just get rid of that. Right, here we go again. Let's get this. We'll just get this straight up to oh, 300. Here we go. Hopefully, I'm going to be doing a docking in this video, so that's going to work kind of as a um, tutorial if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm not going to press the wrong button this time. <laughs> what I was trying to do, I was trying to disable RCS and I accidentally pressed solar panels. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. There we go. Right. And... Get rid of that. Right. Is this on 300? Yep. And then we'll get this side up to 300. That'll do. That one there. The latest version is not on stores. The latest versions are beat. Check the version ping on Discord. I'll have to check the Discord after the stream. Hello, I'm Mick Lovin Space, and again, thanks for the um, thanks for the key for this giveaway. Greatly appreciate it. As you can see, I've put your channel in the description below. Oops. Right. That is going to be more or less perfect. So I'm going to quick save before I mess it up again and have to rerun it for a third time. <laughs> right. Let's get going. This one actually has an engine as well. So it's got so much. We've still got two and a half thousand Delta V. So it could move the station at some point, but not at this point um, I'm just going to time warp to get away from this second stage I should have put a probe core on that to be honest hang on let's let's just blow it up that's more fun there we go and hopefully it hasn't damaged anything. I don't think so. <laughs> right, so let's unfold it. Oh, God. I keep doing that with this camera. How's it going? It's the first time I accidentally extended the solar panels and destroyed them instead of disabling RCS. But yeah, other than that, it's going fine. <laughs> that, it is going fine. Um, I can't remember what slide is, which slide is. I think we need to activate action group one and then down there. That's the one. Here we go. Let the unfolding begin. Mm. 
Yeah, it's always fun to destroy the um, unused parts. It's like a claw, isn't it? See if it had asteroids in this g game. Um, that would be fun. Try and catch them. You can see I try to make these sort of the same shape and size so it looks like crew can get down them as well and it's kind of messed up in alignment but let's just forget about that <laughs> right now we can hit the solar panels where's the sun at right above us oh I should have rotated it I've also got it so I can, if I deactivate that and put this up there, right? Activate number two and also turn the solar panels. Like so. Which is pretty cool. I should have rolled this so it's at an angle. It's alright. And also rotate these as well. So the docking ports can align different ways. So they're not hitting the solar panels and such. Hi Aram. Welcome to the stream. How did that unfold? It's just um if I can get in. Um Oh god, I don't know how I'm gonna get in to see this. Trust us. There it is. The hinge rotator. That's the one. That's how they rotate. Make me own asteroid and put it in orbit. That is not a bad idea. That would be Oh god, what what am I doing with this? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to rotate them back, actually. I like them aligning with the body more. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. So this is more so if it's lying the other way, than align with the sun. But it's I've kind of rolled it the wrong way. Shall we try and roll it? Ah, there we go. Oh, God. It's a bit wobbly. <laughs> to say the least. Oh, God. There we go. That's more like it. There we go. Now drop the RCS and time off just so it stays stable. So yeah, we can rotate them round. So if if the sun's escaping us and we're going round the other side, we can actually turn these to rotate towards the sun, which is pretty cool. Right. So before we mess anything up. I think we're going to save here. And we're going to try and launch something to it and dock with it, I think. That's going to be a good idea. Right. So what I want to do, what do I want to load? I think we'll just send like a command pod up. So if we just, if we just get rid of all this, right? All this McGumph, McGumph, and get rid of that. Oops. There's our little command pod. Check if there's fuel in here. That's monopropellant. I think you can try my rockets. It can dock. I will tomorrow's stream because tomorrow's stream is going to be the Discord 
um, flights. So that is going to be tomorrow. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. I will get round to it. Why are they, they not on a four? A four way mirror, that's why. Let's put them up there like that. Right. And then we'll stick a little pixie engine on this. Check that it's got enough fuel. No, because that's all mono propellant. Let's give this a little bit of fuel, shall we? Right, there we go. That's more like it. Right. Pixie engine. That's the escape pods. We'll just not mess with that staging. And we'll just save this as a... Um, resupply. The resupply ship. Right, so in a vacuum, this is going to do absolutely nothing. That's going to be way too power powerful, isn't it? No, let's go back down to electric engine. Change the size a bit. And no, oh, let's change the fuel type. No, I think we are going to have to change generation. Yeah, we'll put it as gas. And we'll get a bit more delta V by doing that. Like so. That should be fine. Oops. Leave that like that. Right. And then we'll just see if this. And add the rest. It's not going to take a lot to get up there, so let's just go with one big booster and then that stage, like so, and then we'll chuck a big engine on, let's go for the Titan engine, check the staging, yep, and let's go staging, this one, and then And then that in the stage, chuck that up there like that, that, bring that down. Did I ever make a shuttle? Um, no, well, kind of. I made a jokey one a while ago on a stream. You want to check that video out? <laughs> that one was a bit crazy. Right, I'm going to change the colour of this as well. I want this to be the more white. More of a white colour. Why is that still blue? That is weird. Keep this white. Trim. Let's make the trim... Um black okay and we'll actually make this interstage black as well oops I'm still set a trim make that black so we know that's a separate part like that right time in stage this should be fine We'll just double check the performance of this first stage here in zero. Yeah, that's fine. That should be fine. Hi, Peppy the Frog. I'm guessing that's your name. <laughs> right, let's go dock with this, this beast. Give that a bit more RCS, because we're going to need it. We're definitely going to need it. Oh, 
Okay, I've got half an hour. Half an hour. We can do this. Orbit performance, right. Let's select our station as a target. It's actually not that bad of a distance away. I think we'll go for here. Right, full whack and launch. Here we go. There's the station up there in the distance. You can see on there. I think we should have enough fuel in this to get all the way there. We'll just pretend this is a resupply mission. We'll turn the RCS off for now. We don't need it while we're just going up. We've also got the abort system on here still. So that's cool. Right, we'll skip time a little bit. Hopefully this docking is going to go well because never does in this game. We'll start our lane. And then we'll just activate prograde. It's gaining on us. That's all you're doing to rendezvous is just you're just trying to chase down what you're trying to rendezvous with. You're just pretty much in a chase. It's, it's like a steeple chase. Everything's going well so far. This stage might actually not have enough. Just gonna lock in that direction for now. So we can get up to about the right height. Oh we're out of fuel anyway. So how much that oh we have not got enough. We underestimated the fuel here. I think we really underestimated the fuel. Yep, we haven't got enough fuel. Right, let's go back. I forgot how high the orbit was of the shuttle. The um, station, sorry. Not the shuttle. <laughs> right, so let's just whack some boosters on. Do a bit of an um, asparagus design here. Yeah, we'll go for asparagus staging. Set this detachment force and we'll go for normal. I think that's how it works. I think that's what you've got to do. Right, and then we'll go for a nose cone. Here. Paint them white as well. And then another Another two engines of the same calibre. That should be good. Let's check the staging. Because it always messes up. There's two and we need the third. Third in there. Change this to be up there instead. This video would be mostly me building. <laughs> um, and then we we'll want that stage and, and the pixie engine, then that's just them. Right. So we should be good now. If we go to one, stage one. Make these a little bit more efficient. Um. Mm. 
Let's undo that. Oh, that's undone the staging, hasn't it? Yep, it has. I didn't mean to do that. Right up there, and then the sides. Back down there. That end stage comes back down. Pixie engine, yep. I'm going to change these just a tad again. Actually, we were perfect where they were. We'll just leave it like that. That should be fine. See if this is the resupply shuttle. And launch. Nice. Ah, oh, I should have rolled it. I'll have to do a roll program. <laughs> okay, so full throttle and fire. And we'll straight away go into a roll program just so then boosters when they separate won't collide with the rest of the shuttle. Uh, rocket. Turn our CS off. Don't need it. It will start our roll. And we've got to set the target and check for the rendezvous, didn't we? Oh well. We'll just have to catch up with it different way. Right. Let's go back to this. Lean over more. Nice. Nicely done here. We'll keep this up so we can see how much feels left in this stage. So we can drop it. Perfect. How much is left in this centre? Yeah, it should be draining less, which it, it is. Nice, that's what I want to see. I'm not leaning enough. I need to lean a bit more. Get some more horizontal lateral, lateral speed here. I always call it horizontal, but it's lateral, really. The proper term. Right, we'll be dropping these boosters soon, hopefully. And then we're all getting up towards 80 now. There we go. We want to get this up to 300 straight away, it would just be easier. Keep okay, dropping boosters. There we go. Nice. Now we've got three and a half thousand meters per second. Awesome stuff. I'll get rid of that. Don't need that on there. Cool. So we're going to be well ahead of this because this is going orbiting slower than we are. Well, we're not moving as fast as it yet. So, it might be okay actually, but, oh crap, I did that again. Let's get some nice shots. It's like a bullet. Chase cam. I want to chase it from this side. That's a cool shot. Kind of. Yeah, we'll just get this out whaps it's straight up to three hundred. So it's pretty much on its on its way here. I think we'll go over so it can catch us up. Like so. See that, how it's catching up, because we're going wider? Okay, let's stop. Right, that should be fine. We'll go here and set a manoeuvre. 
so we can be a bit closer. Like that. Separation 8 kilometers. That is what I like to see. I'm just going to quick save. And then we're going to auto warp here. Oh, I'm using mono propellant. Oh, no, I'm not, actually. <laughs> Nothing really. We've just we failed to launch the first resupply mission because we didn't have enough fuel. <laughs> and we've just restarted it with plenty of fuel now with the as asparagus staging. So, right, we want to switch this to target. That is going to be the best way to do it. I think it's the best way to do it anyway. And then what we're going to want to do... Right, we're getting close to it. We're getting real close. What we'll need to do is retrograde the target. And then we're just going to burn till this goes all the way down to pretty much zero. You want to get this target velocity all the way down to zero. Pretty much it. See now we're on the same orbit path. Now you want to lock onto the tar target. I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do here? Because we're pretty close, I'm gonna quick save. Get rid of this booster so we can use RCS to lock onto that target. Activate this engine. Now that friggin' booster's in our way. <laughs> right, we've locked onto the target, so... I want to fire towards it. Get to around... 40, 50 metres per second. And then we're going to go retrograde to the target. But you've got to make sure this is in target mode. If you want to just press retrograde, I right, can start to see the station now coming into view. We are really hurling towards it. See it there. Two kilometers away. Right, we'll get this target velocity right down again. Because this is your speed relative to the target, so you want to. Just keep cancelling that out. And then pointing towards it, cancelling it out. So. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Cut the fuel. Point towards the target again. So you can see we've still got plenty of fuel. We're definitely going to be able to dock with this. If these th RCS thrusters didn't stop being weird. I really wish I'd used the old ones. Right, and then we're going to just burn towards it again. Get about 20 metres per second relative to the target this time. And then... Point retrograde. So now we're really catching up to it. Oh, I have not got much delta V left, but I should have plenty of RCS fuel. Why is it in a spin? Right, time warp does not work very well with docking. <laughs> Don't suggest using time warp. Right, here we go. 700 meters away. Right, we're going to overshoot, so we want to cancel out that velocity again. 
because we don't want to overshoot. It's just because of these RCS thrusters, every time I rotate around, they just change it ever so slightly. Right, I'm going to point towards it now. I think I'm just going to use RCS to do this. So you want to point towards it. I'm going to go on chase camera. Chase here. Right, there we go. And then I want to switch to translation mode. Right, so I want to go forward. So I'm pushing W to go forward. Yeah. We should have plenty of RCS fuel, I think. I'm going to go up a little bit over the module here. I'm going to quick save again because we've got. We're close enough that we can quick save now. Definitely. So, right, here we go. Get in there. I'm just going to lock this angle, actually. I don't want to be pointing to the target the whole time. I just want to stay in this position. Oh, it's kind of just wobbling us all over if I do that. Right, I'll keep it on lock to target. real close. I want to figure out which way is up and down and Oh crap. No, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I did not want to do that right. Cancel out this speed. Cancel out this speed. See how these thrusters are kind of messing us up? Why is it going all weird? Let's go back into this mode. Why is it... That's rolling. Why is this not in... I don't know why this is rolling like it is. It shouldn't... Be rolling. Wait, this thing can't decide which way is up and down. These RCS thrusters are useless. Pretty much useless. I'm going to turn this engine off just before I mess things up with that. I see that should not be rolling. Should not be rolling. Backwards and forwards are working fine. That is not. <laughs> Why? Why? Let's just burn towards it again. See, so they're pointing the wrong way, right? All point towards the station. Yes. 
That is what I want. We're still moving away from it, but we should be fine. Right, that's down, that's... Is that pointing up there? That's that way, right. I see. That's moving it up, right, okay. We are sharply running out of RCS fuel here. Just going to take a quick look at the set and see what's going on with these um, controls. Shouldn't be rolling when in transmission, transition, translation, sorry. Maybe the, me joysticks messing things up. Maybe. Let's just go like this. Stop. Just stay in that position, please. Lock in that position. That's it. here it's just rolling around all over the place these thrusters are just useless honestly it shouldn't roll around like this should not roll around like this yeah this is just ridiculous, these RCS thrusters. I should have stuck with the old ones that actually work well. Okay, right. Kind of getting there now. Please point towards the station. And then just lock in that direction. Now forward. Don't know why it's rolling. But it shouldn't be. Okay, slow down again, slow down. See these thrusters just turn so much that it, it changes everything. Really should have just stuck with the old thrusters. Like, the controls are just so backwards. Like, what is it doing? Why are the 
Why are they facing all different ways? That is what I want to know. McLovin, do you have this problem with these new RCS thrusters? Like these multi-directional foot thrusters, is they're so hard to deal with. Like, look, I'm meant to be going backwards, and they're just all in different directions. It's just crazy. That is crazy. Right, go forward, please. See how glitchy these things are? Nah, I think we're going to have to ditch these multi-directional thrusters. They're just so terrible. Like, really, really bad. Some of them don't even turn. Like, it's just so bad. Look at that. Right, when it's not in translation mode, they seem fine. When it goes between, they just go crazy. Yeah, we're going to have to try this again tomorrow when we actually get proper thrusters on it. We'll actually get the proper um, RCS thrusters on this because these multi-directional ones are absolutely rubbish seriously rubbish I don't know if I'm setting them up wrong or something but they're just terrible and going different directions and everything yeah they're garbage yeah I think that's what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna re reiterate these um, thrusters and then we'll do this again tomorrow as long with along with the discord ones so remember if you want to join the giveaway then leave a comment down below make sure you're subscribed and join the discord and thanks again for McLovin Space for joining and for giving us the key to give away for Simple Rockets 2 on Steam right I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and yeah, see you next time.